Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Charles with the Thursday edition of Charles Snyder Raw, which is unscripted, unfiltered, unscheduled, and pretty much whatever I feel like talking about today, or whatever's most foremost on my mind, <laughs> and stumbling over what the hell I'm saying. Um, anyway, I'm the owner of Charles E. Snyder the Third Marketing, my agency, and what we do is we specialize in direct response marketing using online tools uh, such as social media, email, text messaging, voice drops, and a lot of, you know, YouTube, stuff like that. You know, there's a wide variety of tools that we actually use, but it's all direct response marketing. Anyway, um, earlier today, in lieu of being able to uh, actually live stream some stuff, I recorded a session where I actually went through and I built an entire campaign from scratch using Facebook Ads Manager. Um, and the entire process took uh, like a whole 30 minutes, a little over 30 minutes, from beginning to end. I've been actually editing that uh, for a little bit, and I put the ad live. The ad, the ad actually went live about five minutes after I hit the submit button. It was pending. Now it's active, as you can see from my screenshot, uh, the screen capture here of the actual web page that the ad is up and running for eh, about two hours now. And I've already had uh, 21 people seen the ad. One person already clicked on it for a cost per result of 30 cents, which is really, really good. That's really low. There's not many times that uh, you will get leads like this under, like, five bucks <laughs> so we are way under on this regard so it seems so far that it's a fairly strong ad just from the little bit that it's been up but it needs to run a little while longer so we can get some more numbers in that and actually see how the ad is performing because we don't have a relevancy score or anything like that up yet um but what I will say is it's kind of on the low side still because that's only one, uh, basically one conversion out of 20 or about 5%. I try to aim for 10%, so we're a little low yet. So maybe it's just because it's only been up for a very short time or I'm not sure yet. So we have to let it run and progress for at least another day or so once we get the numbers up there, you know, that at least a couple hundred or a thousand people have seen the ad, then we'll have a much better idea of how the ad is actually performing. And then we can, you know, actually make some adjustments as needed. So that's kind of, you know, really what I've been thinking about today is, you know, I went through that whole process. But like I said, from start to finish, it was only about 30 minutes. Now, the rest of it actually comes into play with monitoring the performance of the ad and seeing how much, you know, seeing how well it's doing. Uh, other than that, it's really not a whole lot to it without getting into the real technical aspect of it. Uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to bore you with the details because some of this may, you know, unless you're actually familiar with this, a lot of it's going to actually make your eyes glaze over. <laughs> this is the technical stuff that um, our customers, you know, pay us to take care of for them. That, you know, we get them set up, we monitor them, make the adjustments that are needed and stuff. So we're actually getting, uh, you know, over in the past two years of creating these ads and stuff, we're definitely getting a lot better coming out of the gate with these campaigns and we're getting much better performance out of them at the very beginning. It's not to say that we're not going to be tweaking it, massaging it a little bit, trying to get a little bit better uh, response, but this is a start. I mean, this is a very good start. It's probably one of the best campaigns that we ran so far 
just in the initial hours. Uh, other than that, we'll see where it goes. Um, you know, we had a couple of them back in, I think it was December, end of November, beginning of December, that we actually accidentally, or no, that was over a year ago, we accidentally turned a campaign on, and it was only up for about maybe half an hour to an hour, and it got 33 views and actually got a click-through, which turned into a customer. And they made like $1,500 in, you know, the that's how much the customer was actually worth for that sale. Not the lifetime sale, but that immediate click-through. And they had only spent, uh, you know, it was like eight, nine bucks, I think it was, like eight hours and some change, and they made $1,500 off of an ad that I accidentally turned on in about 15, you know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. But <clears throat> anyway, that's the general gist of it. Um, I wanted to get this out. Uh, still working on doing the editing and stuff for the special, you know, recording that we made. Uh, basically, it's going to be kind of like a how-to video uh, because it's definitely way too long to be a one-minute marketing tip. So, um uh, I'm not sure if we're actually going to develop it into a webinar or if we're just, you know, going to say, you know, hey, here, let people watch this for free and actually see me walking through and doing an entire campaign from start to finish. Now, it's not saying, you know, I already had all the ad copy done. I had video done and I had some other stuff done ahead of time. You know, I had you know the landing page and everything else associated with that was already all built out over the you know the past like week week and a half but the actual campaign itself was only about half an hour with all that other stuff finished so um that's it for today hope you had a great day we'll see you again tomorrow for uh tgif thank god it's friday and we'll see how the ad's doing and you know maybe talks about some other stuff but in the meantime love peace and chicken grease